part of my life. Come make fake little things to everything to see where we're at. <laughs> Is it even? Um... More or less. You were seeing an exhibition in the making, uh, an exhibition titled Objects of Ceremony, Effervescence, Decay, and the Everyday. And that is the project of uh, the students in my course, a uh, course called The Curatorial Project, which is intended to give art history majors here at William & Mary an opportunity to do some hands-on curating, hands-on work organizing and designing and installing their own exhibition. The one in the middle will sort of break it up. It'll almost look like a bridge. A lot of challenges with color, but also challenges with other groups to try to figure out how the whole narrative arc works together. To like make sure it flows from one sub theme to another because we all have different ideas. I'm thinking we're going to put all of our like home and like domestic and motherhood ideas over here and then sort of move from there to still lives. Just organizing the work in a way that flows really seamlessly but also follows with the themes. It became apparent to me right away that the students were very imaginative and creative about approaching this theme, which I think is great. You know, everyone understands that weddings and commencements and other events like that are considered ceremonial. But the students uh, went even farther to consider um, ordinary ceremonies, daily rituals, quotidian, mundane events like making tea for breakfast or observing weather patterns in nature as having a ceremonial aspect to it, which I think is really interesting and really expands our understanding of ceremony. I don't see people like coming in through this and then like turning the corner. I, I like the yellows. Oh, yeah, between these two because it bridges the color.